Pokemon in Life Movement, JG Ramos here. Welcome back to YouTube, IGTV, or LinkedIn, wherever you're watching this. Welcome back to my channel, and it's time again for Policy Friday. So as usual, we're going to talk about uh, uh, blog posts I'm going to feature in this episode. And after the sponsor break, of course, the objection of the week, right? Let's get down to business. So, <clears throat> what I'm actually what I'm actually going to talk about right now is a uh, two-part blog I did. Well, part one uh, was a review on on a student-organized event that I attended. It's a business event. Then probably two months later, I wrote part two of it. Well, the second part uh, it's called student entrepreneurship isn't dead but as you can see in the thumbnail there's a question mark that ends it okay now when I reviewed that uh, that business event uh, my hopes were high because you see these student entrepreneurs who are having their boots showcasing their products or service i got interested in two okay so after the event and they're not returning my they're not returning my pms or or texts all right they're not returning it so they were well they, they were they did manage to return my my text it was only five weeks later and he said, uh, we, would, we would love to collaborate with you, Mr. Ramos, but uh, we were just, we only did that just to, just for, we only did that just for our grades. Something to that effect, right? I disappointed. Right? I got disappointed. So I, that was the reason why I had a part two on that, on that, uh, on that review. For me, student entrepreneurship is dead, right? Probably the last great student entrepreneur was Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> the founder of Facebook. I think was probably the last great student entrepreneur, all right? Students of business courses these days they only set up businesses for just just for their just for the sake of their grades, right? It's pathetic. It is freaking pathetic. Let's like start a negotiation just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of your professor passing you. Abay pa niyong mga customer na nakuwa mo na ano close books agad once you once na nakapasa ka sa subject na yun or sa sa course mo ano yun close the books na agad. I don't get it. Up to now, I still don't get it. You start a business and you're not thinking long term. What the hell? So, that was the biggest reason why I don't, uh, why I don't recruit students anymore for my network marketing group. I don't want to have that that kind of mindset in my in my team it's toxic it's cancerous it is fucking cancerous right i don't want that on my team entitlement is such a bitch okay you feel these students feel that they are uh, that the world owes them because they're in college. Bakit hindi ganun ang mindset ko nung college ako? Bakit hindi ganun ang mindset namin nung college kami? They didn't entitle us. They, when we were students in college, and even in high school, they didn't entitle us to anything. We worked hard for our grades. And if we start something, we don't just stop, okay? If there is a need to continue, 
we continue it. Katulad, well, mapatay lalayo. I'll put myself as the example. I got into network marketing in 1993. Okay? I was on leave from my from my alma mater. Kasi uh, meron akong meron akong binagsak na subject noon and I had to take it again the next semester. But that subject I could uh, I have to pass that first before before enrolling in the three subjects na kung saan prerequisite yun. So, nabakante ako ng isang SEM. So, I had nothing to do. I went into network marketing. And, siguro inisip nyo na na once na I went, uh, once I was in school, again, tinigil ko network marketing. No way. <laughs> Kumikita ako eh. <laughs> much to my father's objection. Okay? Much to my father's objection. I sold, uh, I, I was on the selling side, but I wasn't on the recruiting side full time. Nagbibenta ako ng products na. Just to, well, just to have extra money in my pockets. Parang din na ako, well, parang din na ako humingi ng pera sa mga parents ko. Right? So that I won't ask for, ask for money all the time. If I want to buy something, oh, I got money for it. Right? At that point, I can consider, well, I look back at it. I was already a student entrepreneur. Right? Back then, I didn't have the entitlement mentality already. Because I started a business. If you don't have the entitlement mentality, if you don't have that entitlement mentality, you are just right to start a business right? you have every reason to start one to get into become an entrepreneur to become an influencer now if you're a student and you think the reason that businesses are there is for your own grades <laughs> there's something wrong with your brain school has fried your brain magalit sa akin magalit sa mga sa mga makakapanood nito. I don't give a fuck. Right? For me, I repeat, student entrepreneurship is dead. Now, if you haven't read those two blog posts, of course, link in the description below. I would probably, uh, I think part one, only part, the link to part one is there. Because I've already set the link to part two in part one already. So, go with the flow na lang. Alright? So, that's our... Well, I featured two blog posts in just one episode. So, that's a treat for you guys. Alright? That's both because it's a, it's a two-part blog. It's a two-part blog post. So, well, that's our featured blog for this episode. Well, next is the objection of the week. But first, a word from our sponsors. You'll probably love this one. So, keep on watching. Hi guys, forgot to bring this last time, so I won't be bring. I won't be forgetting it right now. We're we're going out right now. Ay ayan, Spartan hands, all natural ingredients, zero messiness. You want yours? Head on over to the caption for more instructions. Okay, head on over to the captions if you want to get yours. Okay. Perfect mold body to perfect travel body, right? Head on over to the captions now for further instructions on how to get one of yours, okay? See ya! Alright guys, here's my call to action for this episode. Now, you, you only have Feb until the last day of February, ane, until February 14, 2020 to submit your proposed topics for episode 45 you heard it from me you heard it from me right i will let you guys decide what to talk about on episode 45 right because i want to end i want to end random thoughts free with a bang all right and there's no other way to do that than to let the people decide to let 
the viewers decide, to let the fans decide. Alright, so making a date, February 14, 2020, deadline for submission of proposed topics for episode 45. Alright? Okay, sponsors are done. On to the objection of the week. Probably, oh, it's probably a rare objection. But if you're in, but if you're a network marketer like me, you would encounter you would encounter this objection. I'm better off with a job. Familiar. Sounds like all right. Well. I haven't, I haven't encountered this objection before. Honestly speaking, right? In all my 26 years of network marketing, I have yet to encounter this objection. But I just saw it on, actually, I just saw it on Instagram, and it said, hmm, this would be a, this would be an, this would be an objection. Okay, this would be an objection in the in this time of day in 2020. Yes, it would be an objection. I would I would give them this kind of rebuttal, okay? So what's the objection? I'm better off with a job. Here's my rebuttal. If you're better off with a job, then why are you looking to make money? I would level with that prospect. It's a straightforward question, straight to the point. Because I don't want to be I don't want to be smoke screened with any of by by any other objection. Okay, just cut down to the chase. If you're better off with the job, then why are you making, then why are you looking to make money? Why are you here? Ngayari, uh, nag nagpa-appointment, nagpa right? Nagpa-appointment. So you're discussing the, you're discussing the network marketing business, the, uh, the professional network marketing. Then yun nga, sinabi ng prospect, I'm better off with the job pala. If you're better off, if you're better off with the job, why are we still here? Cut to the chase. Cut to the chase with the prospect when it comes to the objection. Why are we here? Let them answer. And listen. Okay? Listen. Shut out all your senses and let and sharpen this one when it comes to that when it comes to objections like that. Because you because he has to answer that because the prospect has to answer that question. All you have to do to make him answer that question is to shut up. Shut your mouth kamuna. And listen. That's all there is. Because it's another fault. It's another fault the school system uh, has passed down for generations. Okay. Ever since the industrial age, we have been, our brains have been conditioned to, to always seek, to always look for a job. Kaya ganon, kaya ganon klase ng objection ang lalabas sa kahit sino. Right, not just the um, even I, I, you would you would probably even hear this kind of objection from business owners. All right. So, ingay. That's what the school system. That's what the school system does to you. It conditions your. They would condition your brain to always look for a job. Uh, yeah, more often than not, you will blurt out this objection when someone offers you a business opportunity. Or even uh, a chance to a chance to get into sales. Right? I'm better off with a job. So yeah. Ask that prospect. Why are we still why are we still here? Why are you here? Just shut up and listen to the prospect. Right? Take it from there. Right? A good entrepreneur is also a good listener. A good influencer is also a good listener. 
Matter of fact, good listeners are good leaders. Sounds ironic? It is. Okay. Your job as a salesperson, a network marketer, or someone offering a business opportunity to someone is not to justify your offer. Especially with that kind of objection, you, I'm, I'm better off for the job. Let him explain. Now, if it doesn't, if it's, well, more often than not, it would probably not sound convincing. It won't sound convincing, right? More, prob more often than not, it won't sound convincing. Then you take it from there. That's what all you have to do is listen. Now, if, if after all the if he gives a, uh, if he gets a rather valid answer to, if he gets a rather valid explanation to saying, I'm better off on the job, well, ilipit nyo na ang mga business presentation, yung business presentation kit nyo, ilipit nyo na yung uh, materials nyo, and just talk to the prospect one-on-one -on -one at an informal level, on equal, on equal ground. May lalabas din dyan. May lalabas din ibang sagot dyan. The aim is to get the prospect to justify his own objection and look for an opening. Okay? This is the perfect time to look for an opening kasi medyo, well, <clears throat> I'm better off with a job is a um, rather complicated objection. So let him explain it. Let the prospect explain it. You're in no position to explain that objection to him. Makinig ka lang. Ask that question first. If you're better off on the job, why are you here? He needs to answer that. <laughs> he needs to answer that. So just listen. Okay? So that's our objection of the week. Right? If you feel I am giving you the wrong, uh, the wrong rebuttal to this kind of objection, comment below. Right? Let's discuss it. I'm more than willing to discuss it because to tell you honest to tell you again honestly I haven't encountered this objection before but it would probably be a relevant objection now 2020 so if you found value in this episode you know the drill hit that to subscribe hit the bell and comment with done All right Thank you for watching up to this point. Well, thank you for thank you for continuously watching Advocacy Friday. If you've if you've followed this show from episode one, thank you so much for that. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hanggang sa muli, Money and Life Movement.